freemmostation.com. Hey guys, Reese here coming at you from freemmostation.com with the first look at a game called Chima, Chima Online Beta. I don't I might have butchered that, but I'm sorry. Um it is a Lego browser based RPG. Um it's all instance based, so can't really call it a massively multiplayer, and I can't even say there's a higher population than like 20 people on it. But regardless, it is an RPG, and it is co-op. Let's go with co-op. Um, so the game starts you off with uh, choosing your tribe. I believe I'm a wolf person. It looked like a wolf, so I chose it because I love wolves. But uh, the tribes consist of wolves, bears, uh, a birdman, and a monkey. And so you choose which tribe you want, and then after that you uh, customize them with a very small customization. And after that, then you uh, uh, do through a quick tutorial of just how to uh, fight, and you end up here. And so the game, I think, is just based around uh, building up your, uh, I guess you can say camp. Um, so they give you this little piece of area, and they make you build a house. So... So the first house you have to build, it's a tent. I don't know what kind of house that is, unless you're homeless. But anyways, the point of building a house is to generate studs, which is the uh, currency, I guess you would say, in this game. And so that's my studs, and those are my gold bricks. And gold bricks are the, uh, I think, real money bought in items. And you use those to increase productivity and stuff like that. So um, I guess I'll just show you a quick look here, and then I'll show you a quick look at combat. There's not too much to this game, guys, like I said. Or, um, I should have said, uh, this game is based for, I'm pretty sure, a kid-slash-child audience. Because when you make an account, that asks for your parental uh, su or acceptance or something like that. When you get an email to activate it, it says your child wants to uh, play this game. And so, um, but I mean, it's still, it's a LEGO game. So, if you guys are a fan of the LEGO games that are on consoles and whatever, uh, you might like this. Since it's uh, not as restricted, you know, there's more uh, stuff to do since it is a online game so um this is my area um my backpack full of uh, stuff so there is equipment in this game and equipment usually just raises your health but as you can see it also does other stuff like movement speed meter stud radius and uh, increases your uh, hit points um so you can customize your character to your chest and your legs i'm pretty sure and uh your weapons too you do wield weapons so i have a right click which is my uh, melee sword weapon, and then my left click, which is my uh, giant gun. Um, and I'll show you guys. I just got a new weapon, so I'll see if I can equip that real quick. And I equipped it, good. So I increased my DPS by 4, which is pretty intense. Not really, kind of, sort of. Um, I'll show you guys this shop instance. So um, it says I can find new friends. I'm not even going to bother with that, but apparently you can find new friends with uh, easiness. So I could build a new house with 10 golden blocks, and it actually looks a lot better, but... Um, oh, I guess I'll just build it, whatever. So I'm guessing on the better house, some more studs it generates, and that's what this uh, timer here is for. Um, so it, there's a time limit, so whatever you're building, there is, uh, I think the better the building, the, probably the higher the time to build. Um, you use studs to create your stuff, and it has a pretty easy and kind of non-losable uh, quest system. Um, there's usually just a little dude over here that does your quests. So this is uh, what's your rewards. And if you remember, you get an extra bonus, which I'm pretty sure is just the pay-to-play version, which I don't would never do. But if you're dedicated to this game, why not? And so you get different pieces of uh, Legos to build different stuff. Um, so I have this, so I could build uh, weapons with a uh, wall. I would need the blueprint, but regardless. Um, so this expands your areas if you have 45 blocks. And they do give you blocks from now and then, so it's not like a completely restricted area to where you don't have anything. Yeah, so that's going to take an hour, so that's that. Um, and that's my backpack. That is how you build. So you can build different things, like an armory, uh, advanced blacksmith, advanced armor, and a weaponsmith. And uh, that just lets you create different things. And so you can kind of put it around here. It's not too expensive or anything. But that's that. You can go shopping for uh, different stuff like uh, equips or, uh, you know, armor, legs, stuff like that. And, of course, the currency is stud, so I don't think they'll limit you too much on that. I'm pretty sure the gold bricks are just to uh, increase productivity or to uh, get, like, really good stuff. This one, Leonidas' ward, 
cost. Wow, but it's a lot better than mine. But anyways, that's that, guys. Um, so it's really direct on where you're supposed to go to, Giant Gold Arrow. So you just have to follow that. Um, so I will go in here. This is how you get to your different instances. Right now I only have two. And these uh, have like a few different areas. They're not too big, so they're all based off of different levels. So it tells you to go here, and you just drop on him. And so it just randomly pairs you up with whoever's in here. So you don't have to have to worry about finding people or anything. But I feel as if this game isn't too highly populated, it would maybe be hard. Um, I got put into a hard instance in this game, and the monsters were all really strong, and they kind of wrecked you. So you really had to just fight for your life to uh, go and get what you needed and then just run because they like infinitely spawned. And I only had two people with me, and they were the same level as me, so we were all just getting wrecked. And when you die, it's like Sonic almost. You just lose some sods. So that's not too big of a deal. So, I mean, it tells you where to go. It tells you the people that are on the map with you and their faces. The naming in this game is completely random. Like, it just gives you a few options of what you can make your name. Just kind of weird. Don't usually see that too often. They did have a random generator, but, you know, it's only set names. So I'm just going to keep following this. Uh, this is some combat. The combat's pretty uh, bland, but, like I said, it's a kid's game, so it's not really supposed to be, like, high-tech and intense. And so, um, I'll show you guys this. This is, I guess, a big part. You collect Chimas, or Chimas, sorry if I'm butchering that. And uh, you activate it, and it makes your character pretty much invincible for a short time. So you do extra damage, and you uh, don't get hurt. So, boom, boom, boom. And, of course, you can see the other characters in their areas and stuff like that. So maybe he's going the same area I am. So I went to another cave last time, and it went, like, death. But it might just bring me over there, so... If not, you might see the intensity of how ridiculous they make this. Because if it wasn't for the two people that I got into the other one, I would have just kept dying instantly. Because those things were really strong. And they took forever to kill, and they kept burst spawning anyway, so there's like no point. So yeah, anything drops studs in this pretty much. So if you kill someone, if you uh, break something... Oh, oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. And uh, to heal, there's a food. Which I don't have any, so I might just die. I'm not sure if you can just buy it. Yeah, so you just activate it. Is I don't know why. Kind of a waste. But I guess he's going to the same place. I Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. That tells you in the left area. That's pretty fancy. Um, there will be a link in the description if you guys do want to play. It doesn't take a lot of effort to uh, make an account. Um, and the game is a browser-based game, so you don't have to download anything or anything like that. So I will die, and that's my health just slowly deplenishing, and I'm dead. Oh, and you do level up. You get experience from doing different quests and uh, killing stuff and whatnot, and when you level up, you can just build or buy better things with your studs, so it's not like an intense increase. Um, I believe that is just a hot bar down there. I haven't got anything to put in it yet, and I've been playing for a little bit, so I'm not quite sure. So I use it on it. Okay, so whatever. So yeah, these are like the hard dudes that are just wreck you. Okay. So. Oh, shut up. So I don't even know what I have to do. Okay, I have to defeat Crawley. Which I guess is this dude. There's no name above his head, so. But that was it, so good. And then he dropped a Chima and some hearts, so that's good. So I got some health from that. And these are chests. Or that wasn't a chest, I guess. That was something else. And you can break whatever you want, it's not too hard. It is click to move, and it is, uh whatever, uh, point and click to shoot, so, it's like Diablo kind of, it's up, there's no other, uh, skills or anything. Get a little chat box in the bottom. This is level four, so that's why he's taking a day and a half to die. Die, die, okay. But anyways, um, I'll get this reward, and I'll probably just cut it now, guys, because that is literally the whole entire thing, so I have new building instructions, so, doing the quest gets you different instructions to build different things. So you guys really want to do the quest if you are going to play this game. And so I can now use level 4 buildings and gear. So that's what happens when you level up. It's not too intense or anything. I don't know what this is. Anyways, um, so it's really easy to get home to. So all you have to do is click that, go to your outpost, and you're good. Maybe they'll let you on. Oh, did I? No, I'm not good at hitting no. Yeah, okay, we're good. Well, for a beta, you know, it doesn't really chop or anything. Um, if you join 
an instance and they just did it and you weren't there for it, you have to like re go into it because you know it doesn't respawn or anything. You have to like redo the instance for it to come back. Just pretty weird. So I'm gonna build a new Sonic Boomer, which has less DPS in every aspect. So I don't know why I would want this, but whatever. So these are the two pieces I need. So I need little yellow pieces. Actually, I don't know how you're supposed to know that when it doesn't really say specifically. I guess you just kind of try, or maybe that's just color variants. But anyways, everything's time-based, so you know that takes five minutes, and I don't. Yeah, so I could either pay a gold block to speed it up, or I can just let it go. But anyways, guys, I'm going to cut it right there. Um, hopefully, you guys have enough information. If you do want to play this game, the link will be in the description. So um, if you're a big LEGO fan and you kind of just want to do something with your day without having uh, a lot of commitment, you could do this game. Since everything's time-based, it's not really something you have to stay too committed for unless you just kind of want to blow through the game. It's not challenging in a sense, besides the really hard monsters. It is easy to play. So if you have kids that, you know, you think this is interesting for them, go for it. Or if you just want to do something in your little time you have to do something, go ahead and hop on. But um, as for this, uh, this was Chima or Chima Online, and it is in beta. Uh, link will be in the description. If you guys liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, this was Reese giving you a first look at it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Do subscribe for more first looks, and I will see you next time.